Well, good morning. Good morning. This is Larry and Janet, and we just want to greet you this morning and have a few minutes of devotion with you and pray for our nation and for you today, okay? We're going to read a scripture out of Mark chapter 4. On that same day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling, but he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and he rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so fearful? What is it that you have no faith? Each morning on these devotions, we've been talking about God's house and using the scripture where Jesus was in the upper room with the disciples. And after he had told them how horrible the, the, day, the day ahead of them was going to be and the time with the crucifixion, much as he could with the crucifixion, he said those tremendous words, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. And I think that's a word that God's been giving to me this entire time during the uh, coronavirus and also now with the, uh, these extended uh, demonstrations going on in America. Let not your heart be troubled uh, because we believe in God and we know that God is always at work in the affairs of life. I think also that if you think about it, Jesus was in the stern of the boat. He was inside the boat. We are the temple of the Lord. We are the house of God. He lives within us and it's he is in us. So we should have the peace that he's spoken of because he's dwelling within us just as he was in that boat, yeah. calm and peaceful. That's how we should be as Christians. You know, Jesus uh, in that portion of scripture said, let's, he said, let's go to the other side. So, you know, uh, that's the first thing. When you follow Jesus and he's, he's with them and he's taking them and there's another side. Yes. There's always another side uh, that God wants to take us to. And God had a purpose in going over there. Jesus had a purpose in going there. And the devil knew about, uh, he didn't know all that was going to happen, but he knew that demoniac was there and that when Jesus got there, that Jesus would deliver that man and he would become a, a great evangelist that would touch that entire region before it's all over. And so Jesus said, let's go to the other side. God has a purpose he's yes, always yes. doing in everything. He doesn't make things happen. This storm was a demonic storm. It wasn't just a storm. It was a demonic storm. These were professional fish, professional uh, fishermen, and they knew storms. And they said, we're going to perish. The boat's filling up with water already. And the reason the devil brought this storm was because he knew what God was going to do out on the other side of this. And, and the devil uh, always will try to... Uh, bring a storm against you Absolutely. to stop what God wants to do in your life or in the nation or in the world. The devil knows the victory that's going to come from it. So there's, you know, let, say this, God never wastes a storm. No, he doesn't. He never wastes a storm. Never. Storm in life, storms in the, whatever comes, God never wastes it. He doesn't bring it. He didn't cause it. The devil's behind uh, prejudice. He's behind yes, mistreatment. He He's behind all that kind of stuff. But the Lord never wastes a storm. No, and the promise is that we will be amazed at what God does yeah. in the end. The disciples, when Jesus uh, got up and said, peace, be still, and the storm was stopped yes. when he said that. The devil had to flee, and he went across on the, the other side, delivered this demoniac that had been terrorizing yes, that region for a long time. So there's the deliverance coming. Yes. Maybe it's taking this type of things to bring it about, but God is going to help us, yes, and is. God is going to bring a deliverance uh, and going to bring a peace in Jesus' name. Yes, I Lord. prophesy yes. that out of all of this, yes, amen, is going to come a deliverance that yes. people have been looking for maybe for a 100 years. Who knows? Yes. And you, come Jesus. a peace of God through all of this. Yes. Proverbs 133 says, But the one who always listens to me will live undisturbed in a heavenly peace. What was that? Undisturbed. The one who always listens to me, yes. to, the, to God, to his word, will live in an undisturbed heavenly peace, free from fear, confident and courage, and you will rest unafraid and sheltered from the storms of life. Amen. So there's a, the storm's brewing. 
But we've been in an unbelievable storm the last yes. two months in America and the world, and now this uprising that's happening not only in America but around the world. But we declare to you there's yes. another side. Yes, hallelujah. Thank and you, And whatever Jesus. you're going through in your life, there's another side. Yes, there is. And Jesus said, let's cross over. Let's get through this. Yes, yes. You don't always get all, you don't always go, you know, around it. Sometimes you have to go right through the middle of the storm. Yes. So let's get through this. Yes. Let's go through this and have peace. Yes, because he says, he's in, the, in you. In have the, that peace that he gives you. In the midst of this, let not your heart be troubled. Oh, amen. Father, we pray right now, for the dear, Lord, dear yes, people, Lord, God, Jesus, that are Father deeply God. hurt in yes, our Father nation, God, pain, having been Father mistreated, God, Jesus, God for many years in many face, ways God. and prejudiced oh, and God, things Jesus, against God, them. We pray, God, God, that this this will bring about the change that's needed, Lord, and that the leaders that are 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 responsible, God, God, will not Jesus. just give lip service, oh, but they'll make Jesus. some dramatic yes, yes, changes God. and in oh, uh, the God. culture that's God. needed, God, Lord in our Jesus. society. Lord but we Jesus. know that you yes, are at work, yes, even Lord though the Jesus. devil is using this, yes, and the God. devil's got into it, something, we know that you're going to use yes, this God. and get us to the other side. Oh, and out of this is going to come a great harvest of souls, a great move of your spirit. We pray for those that are going through a storm in their own life, in their own life, God, that you will just touch them now and let them know that you're on the boat with them. Yes, you're, God. you're on it with Give them. them that peace, and there's God. peace. Yes, God. And he'll say at some Lord point, Jesus. Jesus is going to say peace. Yes. And the storm's going to oh, stop. You, Lord hallelujah. Because he has more Jesus. power than the devil yes, and all hallelujah. the powers of sickness you, and hell and all that stuff. Amen. The storm's going to stop. Jesus. Amen. And, and, and we're going to get to the Jesus. other side. Amen. And there's going to be a great deliverance and a Amen. great miracle in Jesus name we Peace pray. In the midst Amen. Of your storm. Amen. So listen, Hallelujah. even in a storm in a boat, yes. you're in God's house. Yes. And when Hallelujah. you're in God's house, there's peace that passes yes. understanding. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you.